and I'm back. I have a weekly phone call with my mom, and I just lost track of time for some reason. I'm still here. Let's search all the vases and barrels. So, I mean, RPG character after all. Hey, look, it's a treasure chest. Tempest Jewel! Uh, Tempest Jewel, that's increased critical hit rate for a single character. Had to think about that. Not sure why I have to walk around like this. It's not like there's random battles here. But whatever. Not gonna complain. It's locked. It's a locked door. Whatever shall we do? How does one deal with locked doors? Um, the great light is about to be released. Like, this curse is bad. I'm surprised you were able to make it this far. Yeah, um, he's actually died multiple times. Actually, just once. I will do my best. No, sir. Uh, uh, ah, ah, ah. Apparently, he just turns into a monkey. I don't know. I'm all right. Um, no. So, this is actually the reason why you're supposed to come here is for seeing Master Zeon, but. You notice I can't reach him? Yeah, basically this entire sequence is soap. Um, soap quests, for those of you that are unfamiliar with it, are when you have to do a quest in order to complete a quest, to do a quest to complete a quest, to do a quest to complete a quest to get what you wanted to begin with. Uh, frequently exchanging items, which is where the original term comes about from so I could in one, and getting a character that requires soap. Cloud is heading to this land. Oh, now I have to walk all the way back up. Sadly, I can't just use the spell to teleport to the beginning like I would for a dungeon. Uh, let's see. This is probably going to be a relatively short one. I may end up using this as my vlog. Uh, the main reason being that... My original vlog topic isn't going to work since I don't have a working heat sink and fan to demonstrate with. I was going to show how you overclock and things like that, but I don't particularly want to do that on this computer right now. This computer is stable, I don't want to make it unstable. Oh, I've already gone everywhere, I believe. So, now time to do what I actually meant to come here for. Me personally, not the characters. And that is over here. Took our magic cape. So, if you notice that there's been a couple of things running around. So, you know, he has a magic cape that makes people invisible. From the Age of the Elders. No unusual books in this place, though. Uh, so he has an invisibility cape, and there's been some transformation power powder missing. Just keep that in mind. full of clear water. Don't mind me. Source of agility! Let's go ahead and hit bookshelves first. The proper method of magic experimentation. Various medicines. Some type of medicine. I get the funny feeling he deals with medicine. Some type of medicine in the vase, and some type of medicine in a barrel. He's researching the lost art of summoning fairies, but he needs to find his magical emerald. So if we can find his magic emerald, he will teach me the summoning spell. Remember that emerald that we picked up? So 
so what does he do? He chucks it into there. The, it explodes. And there was that yellow thing that escaped. That yellow thing. Right. By the way, he never succeeds in the entire game. This was actually the point. He's following me now. Yay, I've got my own blob. Hooray for blob. Blob is awesome. Blob is here. Yay for blob. Everybody loves blob. Hooray for blob. Blob bitty blob blob blob. Hey! Blob thinks it's safe. Boink! Hey look, it's Blob! Also known as Taunt. Who is a giant egg. But you don't look human. Yeah, that whole transformation powder thing. Yep. He transformed himself into an egg. See, that's the reason why I went to go grab him, is because, one, I need to level him up, because, oh, holy hell, does he suck right now. And, two, well, I could always use another character. Believe me, I could use another character. Look at his stats. He has single-digit hit points. Look at how bad this is. Ugh... It's going to take a while for me to level him up. And, you know, he'll randomly get KO'd. You know, a single area of effect spell can kill him, for that matter. Let's see if I can buy him a better hood, was it, I think he shares? Oops. That's not what I wanted. It's upstairs in the end. <coughs> Travel hood. There we go. Yep, it's better than what Taunt has, at least. Not that that's hard. There we go. At the very least, he's extra inventory space, which is badly needed. Very badly needed. That should do for now. Let's also pick up a few mages potions while we're at it. Taunt's gonna need two. Try to keep two mages potions per mage. It's important. So yep, that's all we can do in Simone right now. Now we get to walk back. All the way back. So I could, in fact, take a... There's nothing else in this area, by the way. Uh, I could, in fact, take a shortcut to go back. In fact, there's actually multiple shortcuts you can take. So Taunt has a summon spell. Summon one. I'll show you how bad it is. If it ever gets to his turn. I don't think it will, actually. Yeah, no. Taunt is dead last. But that's okay. We gained 42 experience. Hey, look, Taunt levels up. This is going to be happening quite a bit. It is actually possible for Taunt to level up multiple times in one battle. Uh, maybe... No, that's right. It was up top that has the shortcut to other places. So I believe I can actually cast my spell here. Let's find out. Or is this the entrance I just came from? It is. Well, that was worthless. Oh, I hate it when dungeons do that. No, oh, well, I've just wasted 8 MP of my, you know, 12. Yeah. This is gonna hurt me 
me a lot more than it's gonna hurt them, isn't it? On the plus side, you get to see Taunt summon now. It's the only way Taunt does anything. Taunt, don't attack Taunt. Good. Taunt blocked. That's all that matters. So, now you get to see Taunt summon. Oh, right. You see, you have to actually summon on something that still lives. Unlike everything else in the game with that auto retargets, Taunt doesn't. It's not that Taunt is bad. He's actually a pretty good character. It's just in the beginning, that summon spell is terrible. Really, there's very little reason to ever use it. I'm just... Well, in the beginning there is, because it's better than his normal attack. Just not by much. Yeah, you still don't get to see the summon. However, Taunt will level up a couple of times. See? Multiple levels. You notice his MP grows a lot? Yeah, he uses a crap ton of MP is the problem. I mean, he gets attack one, so he's actually Abby useful now. Abby being keyword. I would still never call Taunt all that useful. Maybe there was a hidden passage here? No. I'm trying to think about how to get to that other treasure chest. Hey, look, Taunt didn't, le didn't level. Um, this game basically uses something akin to Soikoden leveling. It's not quite that fast, but you level up really fast when you're underleveled. Uh, what's the battle today? Roper and Ghoul? I can do that. And maybe you even get to see Taunt's attack. No, you won't. I should mention that Mikwedka actually has a higher than normal critical hit rate. Uh, Mikwedka and Samson are the two highest, if I remember right. It's unfortunate in Samson's case, since he keep he's still cursed. Ah, oh, Samson leveled up. Taunt leveled up again, imagine that. Hey look, even more MP. And his strength's going up quite a bit at least. Unfortunately, his defense is sucktastic. That's right, there was nothing over there, I remember now. And yes, I am intentionally backtracking anyway. Because, let's be honest, Taunt can use leveling. And this is at least slightly less dangerous. By virtue of me having Taunt. Oh, I should have had Taunt uh, summon. should actually turn that off so I can know what I'm doing. Yep, Taunt's gonna have an action this time. Holy light. Fire tube. And Taunt, you get to summon on those guys. Naturally. Any? Yep, there we go. That's what I want to see. No magic y stuff against me. Do they even get an attack? Yeah, they do. Okay. Does Taunt get to go? Yes, he does. Katong! That is the only time you will see a curse not affect Samson. So, this is what Summon does he summons a random enemy that does something. Admittedly, that enemy is actually better than what I would fight right now, so it's actually not that bad. The problem is, one, you have no way whatsoever of dictating what enemy is summoned, so it could be something useful, it could be something that they're strong against, thus it's completely worthless. It could just sit... And also, you don't control what the enemy does. The enemy could have cast the ice spell or just attacked. It's kind of annoying. Taunt summon creatures, not the greatest 
ability in the world. What can I say? Hey, Annie. Uh, go ahead and heal Sammy. Reminding myself of where I am. Still don't know why that exists, other than to taunt people. Yep, and now I go here, and now I can just leave. The end of dungeon. It's easier to go out than come in. Back to Luna! Really, Taunt is not a very good character until he gets his first real summon. Ah, crap. Good. And <clears throat> basically, you should just have Taunt summon every turn while he's this craptastic. It's not like he's going to do anything else. Other than maybe die. Lizard Warrior! Who just attacks. Admittedly, that's all that I needed, so it doesn't really matter, but... See, normally what you're supposed to do is that you get taunt when you were going to that area, um, whatchamacallit, uh, when you get Samson cured, which means that you're about three levels higher, so all of his summons are worthless, because they're already less powerful than what you fight. Later on, his later summons, like uh, Fire Drake and things like that, they hit everything, so they're awesome. They are the equivalent of Sorcerers in Shining Force 2. Which is generally awesome. See what I mean by I could just randomly attack? That's all. That was a completely worthless turn for Taunt. Waste of 3 MP. Luckily, Taunt has MP out the wazoo. It's kind of helpful. Taunt is actually a pretty good target for learning the Resurrection spell because he has so much MP it doesn't matter. Luna... Where are you? One skeleton. Whee! Yep. Yep. Screw you, elf. Warlocks are less scary than elves. Even if they do that. Mostly because they have fewer hit points, and cast less frequently, at least. Yeah, taunt! Kill something for two! Yeah, he's dead. Hey, look, taunt levels up again. Hey, learn summon two! Woo! I forgot to actually heal Samson. He almost killed himself. I don't care because Luna's right there. So, um, one thing I do need to do is buy better equipment for Taunt. Like the iron rod that makes his attack actually not help, right? 
go ahead and hand it to Edward. No. And yeah, nothing else. Edward, Iron Rod, give Taunt, who already has better attack than Edward, may I note. Taunt is actually pretty strong, he's just not good at defense. At all. So, let's compare now. So, Taunt is now up to 45 attack, with a 27 strength. So, you know, he's doing pretty good on attack. It, he's worse than Annie still, but that's not really much to be worried about. Uh, speed is abysmal, and will remain abysmal for the rest of the game, if I remember right. Um, if I remember right, Edward eventually becomes extremely fast. Um, oh, Simpson's currently faster than Annie again. Oh, I've got a agility item. Let's go ahead and use that on Annie. Where's the source of agility? There it is. Ah, Annie's holding it. How convenient. Yay! That was much better. Uh, let's see. Save. This is going to be another quick recording. Um, I'm going to stop it actually after I go heal up, because we need to go through a series of incredibly annoying dungeons. And, well, annoying dungeons are annoying as usual. Yes, even though your inn is ridiculously overpriced. I'm still spending more money than I'm gaining, but that won't be the case for too much longer. Besides, I have crap tons of money anyway, it doesn't really matter. Um, once I go to Luna Knight, on the other hand, I will probably spend a very large chunk of my money. In any case, good night, Internet. I will see you tomorrow. Bye! Do, 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 do.